I know one big thing that we wanted to talk about today, because we try to do at least one uh, thing that we focus on in our golf round, at least, you know, every time. So chipping thoughts. Like, <clears throat> I know for me, chipping is a very vital part of my game. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm, I'd like to say I'm a pretty good chipper. I feel like I have really good... Um, body awareness of being able to like you know kind of put the ball where i want it sometimes yeah. it doesn't work out but uh what are your thoughts like what goes through your head first we'll go there yeah i mean more often than not it's not it's not the sexy way to play golf but just doing the bump and runs mm-hmm. and and not trying to fly the ball to the hole from you know if you're just a few yards off the green it's like doesn't look pretty but if i can bump and run something up there and then give myself a, a short, you know, par look to, to save par or something. Mm-hmm. That's the, it's just the more successful, it's more often going to be successful if I do it that way than yeah. trying to, you know, one hop and stop something from mm-hmm. a, you know, being some short sided or whatever. Yeah. I like the bump and run play, especially on the, on the bigger ones. Um, I've m- probably halfway through last year, I did, I know it's overutilized and it's situational, but I have gotten really good at like flop shots. I think that those like being able like the lower ones to shooting up on a higher green or like just to be able to like carry yeah. it. That's been a vital part of my of my success on the green, I guess. Um, but I am a big fan of uh, I don't know, like chipping is just like putting the weight forward, making sure that like I'm just not overdoing it yeah I'm trying to simplify it. i i changed my kind of approach to chipping a bit last season and a lot more thinking of it as if i'm just simply putting the ball right. with whatever right. and and yep. i i do more of my putting stroke when i'm doing it some of the times if it's a longer chip i i use my regular you know uh interlock golf grip but mm-hmm. um i think just making sure that it's like the putting stroke and just catching that ball clean yeah um, it's just, it's so much more consistent. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, hell we had, we've had some pretty cool chip shots. I think between the two of us, we made that, you made that one on for the, yeah. And the yes, I'm tournament. The tournament yeah. yeah. That was pretty sick. Um, yeah, I don't know. Chipping, chipping's fun, but I mean, that's also where, you know, you can save and save and add strokes. So that's definitely, um, yeah, the vital part of a game. I don't know. What are your guys' thoughts? You know, you can kind of let us know in the comments, um, you know, every, everybody does it different. That's what I love about talking about this kind of stuff. Everybody has different, you know, thoughts, techniques, uh, processes, um, rituals, every, everything. It's it's so interesting. Yeah, let us know what your go-to bump and run club is as well. Yeah. This past season, I started doing it a lot more in my 52, which is pretty high lofted for doing it. I mm-hmm. used to use my 7 iron, like, yeah. all the time. I use my 9. Um, but then just recently, I've started to use that 52 a bit more. Um, so that I do get that bit of checkup, but I can still let it run out. Mm-hmm. And I think that's just, I kind of like shifted to that. Having my 64 in the in sure. my bag as well, it's like I can get anything to stop with that. Mm-hmm. But most of the time, it's like, it's not worth that. Yeah, I'm better off taking the 52 and bumping something into the hill and, and letting it roll out. Mm-hmm. Let us know what your go-to club is for those bump and run shots. Because yeah. everyone uses, I mean, there's some people I've seen that you will use like a hybrid or just to, to get oh, something God. if it's up against the shoulder, the dude. If it's a, if it's a like long that. one, I'm I I lost my pitching wedge a long time ago. I now have a new one, but I learned to like utilize my nine as like like a, kind of like my utility club. And a lot of my like chips or like my bump and runs with the nine, I could I could I felt like Garrett Clark, man. I could do anything <laughs> with that club. I just put it anywhere I wanted, hit the trick shots on the course. Like, it was I love it. Thanks for watching today's episode. To see more of our content, be sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe on YouTube. We can be found at Basic Bogies on all platforms. Thanks. We hope to see you on the next one.